Homemade butter. Way easier than you think it would be. Not a lot of ingredients, not a lot of time. Just a little patience and you'll find yourself enjoying some of the greatest butter that you've ever eaten. So stick by and tell me what you think and give a like, comment, and subscribe if you find yourself enjoying it. Let's do it. We on a mission when we in the kitchen, we whipping the dough, yeah. Bros are blowing the battle like it never mattered, we've been here before, yeah. And it's never basic whenever we make it. Under the influence of intoxicated. Pushing the mug, whipping the pot, cook with a buzz. Give it a shot. Toss me a Heineken using the key and hooking the top. The liquor and tice, all of the rice, you cooking a pot, yeah. And this the life, if you ever in the mood for maybe a few drinks. And some bomb ass, bomb ass. Oh, we making bomb ass food. Just one shot won't do. Not tonight, cause if I'm not hungover, then you know it isn't right. Alrighty, so today we're gonna make the most used item in probably the culinary world, butter. Now butter, when you make it from home, I find it to have a more velvety taste to it. It spreads easier and it's just fun. Also, you can kind of control the texture of it to any which way you want. So to do that, we're gonna use a full fat heavy cream. <laughs> we're gonna pour that into our bowl. And what we're gonna do is we just want a little, we wanna agitate it. We wanna help separate the fat from the liquid. And we do that either by hand if you can, I, don't, I couldn't do that. Or with just a stand mixer. Now we're putting a lot of liquid in here, so we wanna kinda go into it slowly. We just don't wanna turn this thing full blast because it'll, it'll look like a show. It'll go everywhere, then your wife's mad at you because the kitchen's a mess again. So we'll put that in, lock her in, we're gonna go slow, just in the beginning. We're just gonna let this go until we start seeing kind of like that soft peak stage. We're just beating a little bit of air into it, and then at which point we're gonna swap to the paddle attachment just to kind of help move everything around. So this is gonna take a little bit of time. We're just kind of gonna let it do its thing. Nice and easy, slow in the beginning. Like I said, this stuff will go everywhere. It's a very thick liquid, and that's why, because it has all that fat in it. And the fat is what we're trying to separate from the actual liquid itself to have a nice, thick, delicious butter. So we're gonna get this going, we're gonna let her do her thing. Once we start getting to the points we need to get, we'll show you what we're gonna do next, all right? All right, so you can already start to see that the consistency is already starting to thicken up pretty good. If we were to keep going uh, longer, you'll end up having like a nice whipped cream. But we're gonna push the boundary even further. Kind of like when Goku went Super Saiyan 2. And it's going to be really fun. It's going to be interesting to watch. So we're going to keep letting this go until it's even thicker. And we'll get back to you once we get to that point. Alrighty, as you can see now, the, uh, the cream is actually almost doubled in volume. The thickness is really starting to show. We've kind of revved up the speed of the mixer because now I'm not so worried about it splattering everywhere because it's so thick, it's not, it's not really moving too much. We're gonna keep agitating this. At the moment, the texture is almost like a uh, steak puff marshmallow man, like a marshmallowy kind of consistency. We're gonna let this go, and I think maybe in a little bit, I haven't decided yet, but we're, we're gonna switch over to the paddle attachment, just to help kind of really get that agitation going, get all the fat kind of pissed off, like beating the crap out of it. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll switch over when we get to that point. She's still going good. Alrighty, so we've gotten to the point where the cream is at a semi, ah, you know, I'll say, yeah, we're at soft peaks. So what that means is you can pick up the attachment, flip her over, and she'll stay. There we go. So I think now is a safe time to where we can put on the paddle attachment. And the only reason why we're putting on a paddle attachment is because all of that butter will solidify. It's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt to kind of fish it, it's going everywhere, kind of fish it out of these old prawns here. So we're gonna go ahead, throw this in the sink to be clean later. Let's go ahead and put on the paddle. And we're gonna let this go kind of slow at first, just to kind of get it moving. You know what, we could probably even go just a little bit faster. And we're gonna let this thing kind of do its thing until we start seeing the fats separate from the actual cream. 
Alright, you can see, like, now things are really, really coming into play here. The cream is really, really thickened up. It's actually turning a different color as well, like a light yellow. You can see little air pockets. Uh, hopefully we'll start seeing the fat really kind of separate from all the liquid here. And it's moving along pretty quickly. It takes a little while, you know, we gotta have a little patience with it. But once start, things start going, it really starts kind of picking up quick. So we're just gonna keep working this together. You can see that the liquid has pretty much became a full solid. As soon as we get to where we need to go, we'll show you what the final product's gonna look like. And there's a couple steps after we actually get the butter that we have to go through and do for the sake of it. So we'll come back as soon as we're ready for that. So we're getting to the point now where you can actually see the cream starting to separate from the bowl. And now we went from like a straight up white color. You can actually see on the edge here from the, uh, the cream that wasn't able to get mixed, that it's white and where the cream in the middle has now became a very light yellow. So the fats are actually being separated right now and it's becoming more solid as you can see as it's separating from the bowl. And it's actually gotten from a really kind of, from a liquid state going into a solid state. So we're, we're on the right path here. We're just gonna let this guy keep going. He's gonna solidify, it's gonna be pretty cool to see. So we'll come back once we get to that point. Our butter, oh god, our butter is made, don't worry about it, it's fine. The butter is made, we have a lot, a lot and lots of buttermilk. We actually had to stop because the buttermilk was just shooting everywhere, which was a sight to see. So, now that the butter is made, we're going to actually pull this guy up. So you see that the fat has separated from the cream completely. And what we have left here is actually buttermilk, which is awesome. You're gonna wanna save that. You can use that for uh, pancakes. You can use it for bread doughs. You can use it for just about anything. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna strain this. And now the next step, let me clean up a little bit here. The next step is we actually have to wash and massage the butter in cold water until the water runs clear. So what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna get a bowl. Pour all of that in there, lovely. We're gonna find a nice container just to kind of store that buttermilk, cause that is good stuff. So we're gonna actually hold you down. Pour all of that lovely, lovely buttermilk right into a separate container. Okay, beautiful. We'll put you over to the side. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get some ice water and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna massage this until it's good to go. You gotta make sure that it is cold water because remember, this is now butter. You put warm water, even your hands touching it too much, it's gonna melt. And then what do you got? You got, you got nothing. We did all this work, wanna make sure everything stays intact. So let me just get some ice water and I'll show you what we gotta do next. I'll be right back. All right, so now what we're doing is I got a bowl of cold water. I have all of the butter in my hand and I'm kind of just massaging it. I want to get any extra liquid out and I'm going to keep doing this process until all of the butter runs, uh, the liquid runs clear. So we got a pretty good yield out of it. This is enough butter to last you quite a while. So I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to strain this on top just because I have a lot of like little pieces of butter. I don't want to lose any of that yield. And we're just gonna keep running this process until the water runs clear. So we're gonna come back to you in just a moment. Our butter liquid, our water, it has run clear. This is the product that you're left with here. We're gonna wrap it up so it can chill in the fridge. That's very important because you want this to firm up so you can spread it. It's a little loosey-goosey right now because it's, it was just born, so it needs a minute. I right, know that the butter is made, we're gonna shape it up. That way it stiffens up in the fridge. That's why when you slice it, it's easier to spread and it's not super loose, because it was just born. So now this is just pretty much unsalted butter. At this point, this is perfect for baking products, anything like that. But what we're gonna do is we want salted butter. So we're gonna get some nice finishing salt, sprinkle it all on the top, get that nice and seasoned. Don't worry about too much salt, it's fine. This is flaky salt. And we're gonna form this into a nice kind of 
roll so and it firms up in the fridge it'll look really nice so tuck in the sides just kind of roll her up like a I don't know, like a like a hoagie bring in the sides there you go you got a nice roll of butter it kind of almost looks like the ones you would buy well we're from we're close to lancaster the amish area you could buy straight up uh homemade butter like this already rolled up but we got it our own so this this needs to sit in the fridge for a minimum of a couple hours uh, ideally overnight and it's going to be fun you know you can use this to impress your friends your family not a lot of people realize that butter is just made from heavy cream you know people think oh butter is such a hard thing no we saw it didn't take much to make it so just keep this in the fridge we're going to let this chill and then we're going to come back to it do a little little taste test of it so we'll be back when the butter is chilled for for a little bit this is perfect i mean it came out great it's got a nice consistency you know take it smear it on some bread i got a nice little biscuit here that shattered in my hand but that's okay that's fantastic this is great take it home it's a great party trick you know what i mean if you're having a nice event over treat people with some homemade butter why not if you found yourself liking the video leave a comment subscribe let us know what else we should make but definitely give this a try fun easy and it's delicious it's almost like butter meets cream cheese because we kind of controlled the consistency that we wanted it's thick it's smooth but it's not too much so thanks again for coming by have a beer on me I may be hungover, but my food is the bomb, no. Ask your aunties, uncles, cousins, and your mom, no. Hungover, chef, yeah, you know I go home.